Tonight on Blast from the Past, we go back to 2015 when Clarkson researchers were looking into whether it was ghosts haunting people's homes or just a fungus. Here's John Fryer. Clarkson environmental engineering professor Shane Rogers has been a fan of haunting tales for years, but now he's using that interest in his professional life, researching whether there may be a connection between indoor air quality, toxic molds, and ghostly apparitions. We're going to be comparing places that have hauntings to places that don't and looking at the mold microbiome in those and seeing if we can find some kind of a commonality in places that are haunted that don't exist in places that are not. With the help of students Thomas O'Rourke and Daniel Schwab, Rogers is in the initial stages of collecting mold spore samples from buildings and residential homes. He wants to see whether sensitivity to indoor air could trigger psychosis or hallucinations causing people to see ghosts. What we're trying to do is just try, uh, figure out why some people may experience those things and help them to live happier and healthier in their homes. The Clarkson researchers are using a thermal imaging camera like you're seeing on your screen to help with their indoor air research in detecting mold and whether it has any connection with apparitions. When we go into some creepy places, I still have an idea that something might be following us around, so I'm not determined whether or not that mold is actually the cause, but I would like to find out what the real deal is at the end of this. Damp North Country conditions make it ideal for collecting samples. There seems to be a lot of cases of hauntings and also like because we do have a lot of moisture, so it is a pretty good area for mold growth. A different kind of Ghostbusters. John Fryot, 7 News.